Drawings on the moon. <laughs> a pretty line here. Okay, and now a pretty circle. <laughs> Good job, kangaroo. You drew a pretty flower. Very nice. You artists really draw well. But I think you forgot an important little detail. We did? But what? Well, you were on the beach and the ocean rises. <gasps> You should do your drawings on me. Up here, there is no ocean to erase them. You hear that, kangaroo? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, there are already lots of drawings up here. But who made them? <laughs> oh, that's right, kangaroo. Maybe those are animal tracks. But which animal? <laughs> An acrobatic turtle? An armadillo colony? <laughs> or maybe an enormous whale? Ooh. Boy, oh boy, look at all these footprints. <laughs> Little Malabar, those aren't footprints made by animals. Those are my craters. A lovely collection, don't you think? Oh, yes, but what about all these craters? Who drew them? The meteorites did this. They're giant rocks flying through space. And they began their work a long, long time ago, when I was very young. Oh, but Moon, where have your craters gone? They haven't been created yet. Look there, little Malabar. Here come the artists now. Hey! <laughs> it's a meteorite shower! Well, these meteorites are crazy. <laughs> We're not crazy at all. We love creating pretty round craters on the moon. And now, the little circle dance! on for a very long time. There were always new meteorites coming to create brand new craters on top of the old craters. And then, little by little, things calmed down. Those meteorites were really good at their job. But today, we're going to make drawings. <laughs> oh, a self-portrait. Nice one, little Malabar. Great job, kangaroo. It's drawn perfectly. Wait for me. I want to participate in your fun, too. Uh -huh. There are still meteorites today? Wow, look and drew a clown nose on me. <laughs> and here I come to erase everything and make a new drawing. Is everything okay, little Malabar? Yeah, <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> oh, good. It's too bad about your drawing. I really liked it a lot. Oh, well, that's really okay, Moon. We can make new drawings all the time. Watch this. <laughs> and now, the final touch. And ha! <laughs> and ha! <laughs> and ha! <laughs> you see this? <laughs> Lots of pretty craters! <laughs> a long time ago, lots and lots of rocks fell on the moon, and they drew the craters. The most recent craters covered up the old ones. Tickling waves. And now our two champions will warm up their legs. <laughs> and their arms. Hoo, hee, hoo, hee, hoo, hee. Now both at the same time. <laughs> Now, little Malabar shall verify the water temperature. Perfect! Little Malabar and Frog are focused. And off they go! The champions just made a magnificent jump! They're now ready for the next challenge with Whale Away Champion. Whoa! Little Malabar's team was knocked over backwards. They'll try again. Whoa! Oh, hello, you two. Hello, son. Whale made a giant wave that sent us flying out into space. Well, then hang on tight again, because another wave is coming. Another wave here in space? Yes, an enormous wave. 
<laughs> that tinkles. <laughs> well, we didn't feel anything at all. That's normal. You are too little. Waves only tickle gigantic stars like myself. I wish I was as enormous as you are so I could feel the tickles too. <laughs> but say there, son, where do these giant waves come from? I don't know. Why don't you ask our galaxy? She'll surely have the answer for you. <laughs> All right, let's go, Frog. Have a safe trip. You'll get to see the giant waves that tickle even the galaxy. Whoa! Hello, Milky Way. Do you know where the big waves that tickle the galaxies come from? We never know from which way they will come. But I heard my neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy, laugh. She must be tickled right now. Go see her. Thanks, Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, Galaxy. Are there waves tickling you right now? Yes. There are little waves right here. Come closer. You'll be able to feel them as well. They deform the stars, but also both space and time. <laughs> this way. <laughs> the closer we get, the more tickles. <laughs> wow, dancing stars. See that frog? They're the one making these waves that tickle. <laughs> hey there, stars. How do you make all of these waves that tickle? It's because we are neutron stars that are very heavy and we whirl around together. But you haven't seen anything yet. Wait and see the wave we're going to make when we fuse together. Fuse together? What do you mean? Like, like this. this. Whoa. <laughs> When two neutron stars come together and fuse, they create enormous waves. They're known as gravitational waves that then travel throughout the universe. The seashell on the mountain. Huh? Whoa! Hey, little mole, are you building a sandcastle too? Check out mine! Huh? Where'd you go? <laughs> you made a tower in the middle? Great job, little mole. Let's go find some pretty shells to decorate it. Mmm, kind of broken and too small. This little shell is too pointy. What do you think, mole? Hey, where did you go this time? Ah, there you are. But, mole, don't you know we find seashells on the beach and not on top of a mountain? A shell that became a rock? It's very pretty, but how did a seashell get all the way up here on top of this mountain? You know what, little Malabar? That shell's called a fossil. You should ask Earth to tell you about her past. Great idea, son. Okay, let's go, little Mo. <laughs> Hello there, Earth. Do you know the story about a shell that became a rock? Oh, yes, of course, little Malabar. It all began a long time ago. Way back, this is what I looked like. With other oceans and other islands. Oh, and the islands are moving. <laughs> yes, it is Earth that is making us move. It's because of the energy I have inside me. And so I heat up and I push. And that makes my islands move. You're right, little mole. But what does this have to do with our seashell? Way back then, your seashell was at the very bottom of the ocean. You should go see for yourself. Okay, come on, Mo, let's go take a look. Super Sea Dog! Wow, I've never seen an animal like that one. Look, I found our seashell, and there are lots of others here. There are the shells of those funny snails. 
<clears throat> Yippee, we're going fast! Hey, stop! What's happening now? <clears throat> After I pushed, the two islands bumped into each other. Woohoo! It's like an elevator! <laughs> Up higher and even higher! Keep going! Wow, look at that, Mo! Now there's only one big island! Oh, hey, do you recognize it? That's our island! That's right. That's how your island was born. Two islands bumped into each other and then they created the mountain. Great job, little mole. That's the prettiest little seashell for your sand castle. Oh. <laughs> It's magnificent! Now you are the queen of fossilized seashells! <laughs> Plates move under the Earth's surface. They bump into each other, and they rise up from under the oceans. They form mountains, and sometimes we find fossilized seashells on top of them. Snoop of light. Oh, tonight the clouds are concealing the stars. Oh, oh. Yeah! Oh, armadillo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, the clouds are moving aside. We can see a star. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, who are you? We, we are photons. We are little seeds of light. Where did you come from? We were born in a star. And then we up and left because we love traveling in space. Oh, the clouds covering the star again. There are no more photons, armadillo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> I thought I saw another photon. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there are photons flying around everywhere. But what star do you come from? Well, we don't come from stars. We come from everywhere. We've been traveling throughout the universe for a really, really long time. It's true that you seem rather old. Oh. Uh, oh, well, we are. We are much older than all of those young photons that are born in and come from the stars. Ooh, we're even older than your dinosaur. <laughs> but my friend's not a dinosaur. He's an armadillo. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We're almost 14 billion years old. Oh, we are as old as the universe. We were born way before the stars. Well, then where do you come oh, from? We come from the soup of particles. <laughs> the soup of what? Imagine that you were a teeny tiny grain of matter a very, very long time ago when the universe was formed and Big Bang! That's when the soup appeared. Oh, hey, it's really crowded in here. Oh, we can't even move. Welcome to the soup of small grains of matter. Hello, my name's Little Malabar. I'm called a proton. And I'm oh. Little Electron. And I'm just a what? young seed of light. Oh, Photon, you're super young. So this is the soup in which you were born? That's right. In the beginning, the universe was a boiling soup of particles all pressed up against each other. It's horribly hot here in this soup. Patience. The soup will cool down, and we will soon have a whole lot more room. <laughs> wow, it feels good to have more space. <laughs> Phew, it's a bit cooler now. And now we'll be able to move. Yippee! <laughs> Are you having fun bumping into everyone? We love moving about as soon as we have more room in our soup. <laughs> Armadillo, let's move like photons! <laughs> hey, there's a way out over here. What the? Come on, electrons, let's get through. Oh, oh, oh. We can get out this way. Oh, 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 I don't get through. <laughs> <laughs> Armadillo, grab onto my hand. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like fun. Why don't we go round and round with the electrons? <laughs> Going round and round with protons is fun. Come on, everyone grab your electron and don't let go. <laughs> hey, look, no one's grabbing onto us anymore. Yippee! to visit other places in the soup. It has become so much more vast. And we aren't holding them back anymore. Yippee! Whoa! We're traveling fast! <laughs> we traveled for a very long time in space that became bigger and bigger. And we saw the birth of all the stars in the universe. And we're still going strong, still in motion. <laughs> Good job, you old photons. We deserve to have a good night's sleep. Good night, Armadillo.
In space, photons are produced by the stars, but there are very old photons that were here well before the first stars. They were released at the birth of the universe. Clouds in space. <laughs> Today, we're visiting that volcanic island. <laughs> hey there, chinchillas. Do you want to visit the volcanic island too? <laughs> Oops, sorry. I had a little eruption. <laughs> what are you up to? You see, chinchillas love rolling in volcano dust. That's how chinchillas clean their fur. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chinchillas. Did you know that out in space there are huge areas filled with dust? I'm sure that you'll love rolling in that. Thanks, son. Me too. I really want to see that. Let's go. Volcano, can you send us up into space? With pleasure. I was just about to have a really big eruption. We're flying really fast! Wow! So many stars. Strange. There are places with no stars. They look like big dark spots. <laughs> I don't either. I don't see any dust. There's nothing here. Are you looking for dust? Hey, who said that? We did! Oh, look here in your hand. Do you see yeah. us? We're two tiny grains of dust from a star. My name is Silicate Grain, and that's my best friend, Carbon Grain. Nice to meet you. I'm Little Malabar, and these are the Chinchillas. Where are you grains going? We're going to find our friends that are in the dark spots over there. Over there where it's empty? It's not empty at all, just the opposite. Those clouds are filled with stardust, and the stars are hidden behind them. Do you want to come with us? <laughs> oh, yes. The chinchillas would love to go over there. Okay, let's go! Um, your grains of dust move real slow. Come with me, we'll take you there. <laughs> Here we are! We've arrived! Yippee! <laughs> hey! Great for me! Ooh, it's really cold here! Hey! Welcome to the Ice Cloud! I'll be the Stardust! <laughs> Woohoo! We're doing somersaults in the clouds! Ooh. Super duper cold in these clouds, though, especially with just a t shirt on. <laughs> ah, much better. Whoa! It's super cold in those dust clouds. <laughs> Goodbye, little grains of stardust. We're going home to get warm. Goodbye! Have a safe trip, little Malabar! Little Malabar. Did you enjoy visiting the dust clouds in space? It was very pretty, but also very cold. I think I'd like to take a nice warm bath of stardust! <laughs> in the immense emptiness between the stars, there are areas of dust and gas that form enormous clouds. These clouds are the coldest places in our entire galaxy.